sitting hospital ward you specifically assign the duty of advising patient on smoking cessation you are meeting a 45 year old woman who has been admitted with exacerbation of chronic pulmonary disease she leads a busy life with an insurance job and a family of three children now let's look into the task first task is collect details regarding background that is family and habits second task is explain the bad effects of smoking third one says explain various ways to quit smoking and the last one says suggest methods to reduce stress let's get into the role play now you can start like hi good morning miss sarah i'm christy one of the registered nurses working in this hospital ward how are you feeling today then interlocutor may respond you saying hi good morning miss i'm okay however i'm very much depressed upon my current condition then tell her like i completely understand your condition miss sarah try not to be worried to make his note and understand that you have been diagnosed with chronic obstructive pulmonary disease is it right then in the lucky to me agree with that then respond to her saying try not to be overly concerned we are here to support you you are in our safe hands is it okay with you then in the lucky to me agree with that then continue by saying i am here to collect some information from you in order to understand your condition much better is it okay with you miss sara then in the lucky to me agree with that then ask her first of all i would like to know more about your family background then interlocutor may respond as saying i live with my husband and three daughters then ask her do you smoke yes ness i smoke a lot then ask her how long have you been smoking then interlocutor may respond as saying i have been smoking for the last 15 years then respond to her this quite long time i don't really appreciate it okay miss sara how many cigarettes do you smoke on a day then interlocutor may respond as saying i smoke almost Two packets in a day. And then ask her why. Do you have any other medical conditions? Then interlocutor may respond as saying, "No, this. Fortunately, I do not have any other medical conditions." Then ask her, "What do you do for your living?" Then interlocutor may respond as saying, "I've been working as a financial advisor in an insurance company, where I have huge targets on a monthly basis, and I really struggle to meet this all the months. It's really highly pressurized job." In order to manage my stress level, I smoke a lot. Then respond to her. Thank you, Miss Sara, for sharing all those details. This helped me to understand your condition much better. Based on your explanation, I understand that you've been smoking heavily for the last 15 years, and which is the main cause of your current condition. Are you aware about that? Moreover, smoking causes various health problems, which includes cardiovascular disease, cancer, chronic lung disease, and diabetes, and other serious complications. So, in order to avoid these complications, and health problems it is highly recommended to stop smoking as early as possible okay miss sara is it clear with you then interlocutor may ask you like yes ness however i was not really aware of it what can be done now then respond to her do not be overly concerned miss sara i am here to help you i can suggest you some ways to manage your condition along with ongoing medications before that may i know if you have tried to quit your smoking then interlocutor may respond as saying Yes, Ness. I have tried a number of times to quit smoking. Unfortunately, I could not reduce or stop smoking at all. I really don't know what to do. Then respond to her. I really appreciate you for the great decision to quit smoking. You have done a great effort to reduce the smoking. Okay, Miss Sara. Please understand, the smoking is really bad for health. Do not worry. I will explain you various methods to reduce smoking. First of all, you need to make strong decision to quit smoking. Then. you can reduce the number of cigarettes on a regular basis apart from that you can distract yourself from smoking by engaging in some activities like sports activities listening to music or spending some time with your family are you following me sir then interlocutor the may agree with you then can you do by saying along with that you can use some nicotine gums which are available in the market during the initial period which will really help you to get a sensation of smoking in addition to that there are many support groups which are available in the hospital If you're interested, I can make necessary arrangement for you to join smoking cessation program in our hospital, where you can meet and interact with many people, and you'll get better ideas and support to quit smoking. I hope you're following me, Miss Sara. Then interlocutor may respond as saying, "Whenever I try to stop smoking, I experience some kind of stress and restlessness. What do you do then?" Then respond as saying, "I completely understand your worries, Miss Sara. These are." some common withdrawal symptoms among patients who 
would try to reduce smoking, which should be subsided within a couple of days, and you will feel better gradually. However, if the withdrawal symptoms persist for a longer time, you can have a discussion with the doctor so that he may prescribe some medication to manage it. Okay, Ms. Sarah, do you have any more questions for me? Then interlocutor may ask you, will I be able to lead a normal life after quitting this smoking? Then respond for Ms. Sarah, I can assure you that many of the complications caused by smoking can be avoided. Moreover, if you quit smoking, you will be more energetic and you will get a better health. It also increases your life expectancy. Are you getting me, Ms. Sarah? Then interlocutor may ask you right. Yes, Miss. As I told you initially, I am doing a highly stressful job. I usually smoke a lot to manage my stress level. So can you please suggest me certain ways to manage it? Then respond to her. I can really sense your feelings, Miss Sarah. It is a good idea to do yoga and meditation regularly. Along with that, you can do some little exercises or you can engage in some activities so that it will help you to manage your stress level to an extent. I hope you are with me, Miss Sarah. Then interlocutor may agree with you. If the interlocutor does not have any more questions, we can wind up the session by summarizing, right? So far, we have been discussing your current condition, different ways to manage your smoking habit. I hope you understand that. If you have any more concerns, you can take the buzzer. I will be glad to assist you. Once again, I assure you that. If you follow these instructions along with medications on time, you will definitely be able to get out of this condition and you can get back to your normal life as early as possible. So thank you, Ms. Sara, for listening to me patiently. I wish you a speedy recovery. Thank you, guys. Our role play. Come see you.